Welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System. The speakers in this review have given me quite a few review firsts. They are the first speakers I have reviewed that have an all aluminium chassis. They are the first speakers I have reviewed that are sealed. They are the first speakers I have reviewed that feature a coaxial ribbon mid-range tweeter driver array. And I'm pretty sure they are the first speakers I have genuinely wanted to cuddle. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting one, but before we get into it, let's take a look at them because the speakers are also stunning. Coax 511 is one of four different speakers in the Coax range from the Switzerland-based manufacturer. And the Coax range sits one below Piega's flagship series of speakers, their master line. And this is also my first time reviewing any speakers from Piega, and it's only my second time Listening to Piega speakers, the first time was out in Munich back in 2019, and there's a video for those speakers in the channel which I'll link up there for you. But because that's a hi-fi show, it's not the same as actually genuinely being hands-on with something in your own room and listening system, as we all know. And I think being hands-on is a lovely way to kind of move into my first impressions because the Piega Coax 511, they come in a normal size box. They're not crazy heavy. That's about 30 kilograms each. And it's quite an easy job to unbox them and set them up. When I first put my hands on the Coax 511 to unbox them, I'm not sure if it's because they are an all aluminium chassis or if it's because they've got a lovely curved shape, but putting my hands on them to unbox them just felt different to putting my hands on, you know, more traditional type speakers with maybe a wooden or a, you know, an MDF painted type cabinet. It just felt different. I actually think it felt just that little bit more special. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because if you buy these speakers and your dealer delivers them, don't let the dealer unbox them for you. I suggest you do the unboxing because it is a really special experience putting your hands on them for the first time. It's an experience that you don't want to miss out. It is quite a, wow, these are fantastic type of moments. Putting the Coax 511 speakers roughly in the right spot in my room and listening for maybe an hour or so wasn't a wow experience for me. I wasn't sure on the speakers. I thought I could hear some really good things, just the sound wasn't clicking for me. So I went on a mission to try and get the very best sound from the Piega Coax 511 speakers that I could. And that mission and really that journey continued right up until the final hours of this review period. And it's a journey that I've really enjoyed and I feel like I've got a hell of a lot out of in terms of my own personal learning curve from Hi-Fi systems. And I think I've settled on the thought that the Piega Coax 511 speakers are very, very transparent because all the changes and messing around that I've been doing with the Hi-Fi system before them has given me really quite different sonic results from the Coax 511 speakers, which makes me think they are not only transparent to the Hi-Fi system, maybe quite ruthlessly transparent to it. So that's just something to bear in mind. And I think I have to give a lot of admiration and praise to Piega for the engineering that's gone into these speakers for them to be that transparent to the Hi-Fi system. But it's also important to think that you're going to want to put an A-game Hi-Fi system before them. But the good news is put an A-game system before them, set them up well in your room, and they will give you an A-game and then some musical performance or experience. Looking at the in-room frequency measurements of the Coax 511 shows some interesting things. And I think we want to really split the graph into two halves because from 400 Hertz and up, the sound is being created and delivered by two ribbon drivers in a coaxial configuration, one for the mid-range and one for the treble. Piega say this speaker driver design and technology helps to create a much wider and larger sweet spot 
area and it also means that the mid-range and treble are always in phase when they hit the listener. We can see that for the mid-range and treble, in the main, it's quite smooth. One thing to point out is the excellent treble extension, which goes well beyond 20 kilohertz. Bearing in mind that's been created from a ribbon base tweeter. And then we can see a few things in the measurements that could be some of the speaker's character, but I'm really not sure on that point because I feel like the Coax 511 are probably the most characterless speakers that I've had in my review system and in my room so far. Factoring in what Piega say about this ribbon coaxial design technology and putting that into my own personal experiences, yeah, I think they're right. I actually found the Coax 511 speakers to be one of the easiest speakers to set up from what I call a time alignment point of view, getting the speakers correctly distanced away from me so that their sound snaps into focus. And it was, or they were an easy set of speakers to get their sound to snap into focus. I'm sure most of you know what I mean by that, where everything just kind of locks into place. And I settled on, you know, quite an on-axis listening setup with them, you know, with the speakers relatively aggressively towed in, facing towards me as the listener. And I did that because that created what I think was the most honest sound, a really organized and nicely spaced and laid out soundstage, very clear and very precise for all the music that I listened to. And there was also that magic airiness that a lot of audio files talk about. And I think airiness is generally created by the highest frequencies. And as we saw in the graphs, the Piega Coax deliver the highest frequencies with a tiny little bit of roll off, but with very nice and impressive extension. I did run a custom Dirac Live calibration on the system with the Coax 511 speakers in to maximize their sound quality and minimize the negative effects of my room on the sound performance of the speakers. And I also put in front of them the very best hi-fi system that I could. And it was 100% worth it because that coaxial ribbon dual driver array really is something. It's so fast, it's so clear, it's so clean, and it's so precise that, as I mentioned, makes them, or makes the coax 511 that transparent to the hi-fi system. So yeah, it was worth putting the efforts in. I think the only way I can try and describe in words or reference the clarity and the precision of this mid-range tweeter ribbon driver array from Piega is if maybe you've listened to electrostatic headphones. They just have like a vivid like clarity. It's just something about how that speaker driver technology presents sound. It's so clean and so effortless and so fast. Combining what I said about the soundstage and how organized and precise that is, combine that with a really clean and fast mid-range and treble delivery gives you a vocal on a mid-range that will just hang there, hang there in free air and be so, so high resolution and high clarity, again, to the hi-fi system that comes before it. But it's always clean, it's always precise, but I've had different types of mid-range. I've had warm and lush and a little bit laid back type mid-range from the Coax 511 right up to leaner vocals and mid-range and more forward. So it really has depended on what I've done with the hi-fi system to result in what type of mid-range and vocals I've had from the Coax 511. I do think I've spent quite a lot of this journey period of, of time trying to find the perfect and right balance for me of vocals and mid-range because I know it's there. The mid-range and vocal being free and hanging in free air, it's not quite at the level of some of the best hi-fi speakers for doing that, but it's really not that far behind either. <laughs> The treble integration with that mid-range is totally seamless. And I really wasn't sure if I was listening to two different speaker drivers or if I was actually just listening to one wideband driver to deliver the mid-range and the treble. It always looked like two, but it sounded like I was listening to just one. 
And that is because the treble mimics the mid-range. It's fast, it's precise, and it's clean. And, you know, before I was doing this review, I was thinking to myself, you know, what was the treble like from the Coax 511 speakers? And it was just totally transparent. Never once did I even think about it. Never once did I actually even pay attention to the treble. I was actually just listening to the music presented in front of me. So <laughs> it's difficult to give you an opinion on the treble because it was just so spot on absolutely spot on. Throw in a really interesting comparison would be to bring up the KEF UniQ array in my own personal speakers, the KEF Reference Free speakers, because listening to the KEF Reference Freeze with the UniQ coaxial driver array and then comparing that to the coaxial ribbon driver array in the coax 511 speakers, you can very clearly hear that these are two very different ways of trying to achieve the same thing. And you can also very clearly hear that the benefits of ribbon driver technologies in the Piega coax 511 speakers creates a different end result. It creates a different type of sound presentation to the UniQ driver array in the KEF reference free speakers. And I'd say the biggest area of difference is in how the music is communicated to you. Yes, I would say the KEF gives a slightly warmer sound, which is easier to balance with the rest of the system, the rest of what's going on, but the Piega Coax 511 is more fast, it's more direct, and it's more communicative in how it gives you the information in terms of mid-range and treble. But I mentioned balance, and obviously a balancing act is always so, so important. And I've got the funny feeling that Piega designed this fantastic ribbon technology, this ribbon mid-range driver coaxial technology, and then they've got the challenge of creating a base array and a cabinet that keeps up, that can deliver an equally fast, precise, and clean sound. And obviously they've used an all aluminium construction with the coax speakers, and inside that aluminium construction is a technology they call TIM, which is a tensioning technology to try and you know, eke out the last ounces of resonance from the cabinet. The coax 511 speakers are sealed, as I've previously mentioned, and they use two 16 centimeters or six inches in old money, actively driven or amplifier driven bass drivers and two 16 centimeter passive radiators. And that whole driver array, when you look at the in-room measurements, or in my room at least, gave me this. This may look like a crazy amount of bass to some people, but trust me, once you've you know, factored in things like equal loudness and run a Dirac Live calibration, this is a fantastic bass starting point. And the big thing to look at is really the bass extension. We're not seeing any bass roll off until about 30 hertz. And that is damn, damn impressive considering the form factor of the Coax 511 speakers, because I'm going to use the words tiny form factor. If we look at that form factor and actual footprint compared to the KEF reference free speakers, you can see the Coax 511 are about half the size or about half the physical depth. And that is really, really important for things like ease of placement, for ease of getting them into your home, and probably most importantly, the ease of getting the WAF, the WAF acceptance factor. But this does mean that the bass output and delivery from the Coax 511 speakers isn't as big and as substantial sounding as the bass output from the KEF reference speakers. And I would kind of describe the difference as being the Piega Coax 511 speakers, from a bass point of view, always sounds like you're listening to speakers. Whereas with the KEF reference free, I can set them up to deliver a speaker and subwoofer like type of experience. But there is enough bass from the Piega Coax 511 speakers. And probably more importantly for most audio files is that the bass is tight. And I mean really tight and fast and precise. In fact, it's so tight, it reminds me of that friend that we all have that never ever buys a round at the bar and that has cobwebs on his wallet. It is that tight, really, really tight. And again, that's gonna be probably better for most audio files, especially if you live in the UK where we have kind of, you know, small to medium sized rooms. And probably the balance of bass output, tautness and quality from the Piega 511 speakers will probably work great for most 
UK sized homes, but it does leave me with that oh, a little bit of an interest in the larger speakers in the coax range, the 711, because it just makes me think, oh, bigger drivers, bigger cabinet, are those speakers more thrilling? Maybe one day I'll get to find out. It's definitely worth pointing out that for this review of the coax 511 speakers, I've been using them with pure class A monoblock amplifiers that will deliver up to about 100 watts. And the coax 511 speakers are rated between 20 and 250 watts with a 90 decibels efficiency. But I did feel, or I do feel like a bit more power maybe would have been better for them for their base delivery. And they definitely seem like a speaker that comes to life with more power rather than less. Again, something to bear in mind. The visual styling and appearance of the coax 511 speakers really speaks for itself. They won't be every audiophile's cup of tea if you're more into a traditional type of speaker look and design, but I do think their design is timeless. The build quality of the Piega Coax 511 speakers is impeccable, and I think interestingly, you can buy them in this aluminium look type finish in black and also in white, and I can only imagine a pair of these in white would be really something special. And the grill system that they come with is quite an interesting one. What do you guys think? Better with the grills on or off? I think that's a, a no-brainer answer. For my final thoughts of the Piega Coax 511 speakers, I like them a lot. I've really enjoyed my time with them. I really like their kind of studio monitor, but full range type sound presentation, really clear, really precise, really open, really open and transparent to the source and the hi-fi system that you feed them, which becomes open, wide, clear and precise to the music that you're listening to. I've really, really enjoyed listening to them and I actually feel like they would be a fantastic review tool because of all these reasons, hint, hint, Piega. But they can give you all this precision and accuracy and insight and transparency but still be really enjoyable speakers to listen to hour upon hour. And I think that's really, really important. And I do see them as an investment type of speaker, an audio files speaker. You know, an investment in a speaker, which you then put in an investment in the hi-fi system that you're gonna put before them to create the exact sound that you end up loving. Yes, I think the Coax 511 speakers are not what I would call a music first, speaker, they are what I would call an engineered speaker. That's a very well engineered speaker and engineered to get out of the way. It's an engineered speaker to give you, you know, an audio file type of sound, but one that's very, very easy to listen to for hours and love. And you don't need to be a speaker designer to be able to hear and see that the Piega Coax 511 speakers are very well designed and very well engineered. I would like to award Piega with Pursuit of Perfect Systems highest accolade, our Serious Performer Award for the Coax 511 speakers. Put a good hi-fi system in front of the Piega, it's gonna create a sound that's gonna be very, very difficult to ignore. Again, very, very high performance, and definitely an essential audition if you're shopping for speakers around this price point. And we can't leave the price points out, the Piega Coax 511 speakers cost 11,100 pounds, so yes, they are a serious investment amount of money for a pair of speakers, but it is an investment in a lot of really, really great sounding hours of musical enjoyment and thrills. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. I hope you found it useful and helpful. There will be a sound demonstration video for this, for these speakers and for this review as always. Obviously it'll be linked up there for you. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye.